What up, what up, what up, what up? Episode 5 of the Da Vinci Code, man. I can't believe I made it to this number, bro. <laughs> I thought he was going to get me out of here after the episode 4. Nah, man. I thought I was done, so. You know, we're in, we're in the night. We're kind of sad. Because, you know, we got a, a popular character. He's uh, he's going through some shit right now. And uh, we just want to be there for our boy. Ain't that right, Russ? Who you talking about? Arkady? Arkady, yeah. No, bro. <laughs> No, dog. You not. I'm not even drinking today. <laughs> I can't even drink to that shit. It's too late. Fuck you got to pull it up. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Why? What, fucking for what, bro? What you mean, man? For being a great person, for having a big heart, my nigga. Nah, bro. He led us straight. Did he really lead us, or we just, we just, we just coped with what he was giving us? No, bro. He was saying, I believe I <laughs> He did. Nigga, I saw this shit in my high school. I'm about to say that was like fifth grade. I saw this shit in my choir in third grade. Dude. Like, I was in the nah, choir. We sudden that shit. I can't kind of fucked me over, too, but. How did he fuck you over? Because, bro, like, this was before, like, the real internet. So my first time really seeing anything sexual on the screen was the R. Kelly sex tape. I was probably. Wow. Like, and, bro, they were showing that shit in the clubs. Bro, I was in the boys and girls club. <laughs> we was on the computer in the computer room. They just pulled that shit up. I was like, what the fuck? You know, I never thought it could get worse at the time Elf told us they may watch Friday at his daycare, but <laughs> that might take it. I think that takes it. And he did deceive a lot of people. Hell, he's still trying to, really, but it's not working no more because, you know, all these documentaries yeah. out here, you know what I'm saying, telling that this nigga's an animal. He has a coat. And doing foolish interviews. I need somebody. They should have, you know what they should do? They should have somebody go undercover. Inside the coat, so we really know what the fuck be going on in that shit. Because everything right now is just hearsay. That's true. We, we have no proof. Cool we ain't got no records. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got no location of this fucking coat. But R. Kelly not beating this one, though. Even though we don't have no real, like, hard proof. Yeah, that's how he beat the first one. And he had a whole tape with him in it. That was a tape. Bro, that nigga had... Bro, that nigga talked in that bitch. He was smashing... I remember he was smashing the bitch. And he started like, hey! Hey, turn, turn, turn the thermostat off! Yeah, definitely. And then he went back to smashing. <laughs> I'm like, that's R. Kelly. <laughs> Nigga said that was his brother. Like, nah, nigga, that's that's R. Kelly. But uh, I didn't bring you on here for that. I bought you on. What? Eh, it kind of. That might tie into what I'm talking about. Possibly. The question what I bought you on here today is asking why is it so hard to be black in America? Not a black man, not a black woman, but black. Just a black person. Wait, should I say should I say transgender? Because they have those now. Black transgender. Why is it so hard being a black man, black woman, black transgender in America right now? That's a really deep question, bro. It's, I feel like there's so many reasons for that. Based based it off your personal experiences. I mean, well, you like me. My you personal have too many bad ones. But nigga like me. <laughs> but I'm saying, even being light skinned you you feel it from inside the race. It's like colorism too. Like it's not your fault though. That's what's funny about it. You had nothing to do with this. Of course not. <laughs> they just all real. This nigga guilty. Like I, even in my family, like most of my mom's side of my family is all dark skinned So I'm I'm the white boy. You know bro, what I'm saying? I've seen your family picture. And I I still be getting confused. <laughs> bro, I'm like, was this nigga adopted? Like, so yeah, bro. That, that's even tough in itself. But as far as being black and being an individual, mm. it's tough because not it's not many other races or any other race that I can think of offhand. But maybe I'm biased because I am black. But, like, you can lose your blackness, bro. You can do some shit and people be like, you lost your black card or whatever. Like, if your crowd's with a fork. Yeah. No, I've bro. seen my sister do that. We, we kind of banned her from the circle. I'm about to say that. I don't know. I've she deserved to be judged shit. for doing yeah, shit Yeah, I'm like talking that. about, like, the crowd, you got a pill and shit. Like, she... Like, what the fuck are you doing? If you don't use your goddamn hands. You know, that's weirdo <laughs> shit right there. <laughs> she not my sister no more. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, what, what do you think? Like, what, what you I think it's so hard being a black black in America because no matter what you do, no matter how many accomplishments you have, you always gonna be considered a nigga. Yeah. And you know, you remember that saying that uh, old timers used to have like that um, that you always got to be better than them at everything. You oh do. yeah, yeah. Fuck that shit, nigga. I'm nigga. I, I'm gonna do the same amount of work, get the same amount of paycheck, and I'm still I'm gonna be chilling. Why I gotta be better than them? To prove what to who, because they still want to be That's just if you want to be exceptional. That's just if you want to be exceptional. I don't want to be accepted. Mm-hmm. I like, I think I love the fuck <laughs> out of being black. exceptional, like no. being above average. You know I what I'm saying? For what? You're right, who, bro. It's to impress them, to fit in with them, for what? I mean, granted, I get it. I get what my ancestors fought for. I understand that shit. But we, we done with them days. Nigga, I ain't got to be, I ain't got to do shit, really. Like, they did it. Like, nigga, we here. This is what they wanted. For us to have the op- the option to not do shit. We have come a long way. Yeah, we have. 
Right. And we did have a, a you know what I'm saying a black man in the office and niggas was still hating on him for that. Well, we still got a ways to go too, man. Like we got stuff to even rebuild in our community. I don't even know how we I can't even have this conversation with you, bro. Why? You're not the nigga who I should be having <laughs> conversation <laughs> with, bro. That's why I bought you on it for your input. We're gonna have we both have different views on it, which you're is right, you're back right. and forth. You know what I'm saying? Like, but go ahead. No, I mean, it's just like what you, you saying like we pass all that stuff, but it's still different scars from that stuff that's who still hurt now, bro. I'm not hurt from that shit. I'm getting this chick. You might not even realize it though, dog. Like <laughs> I know some people know I can switch it up, like they, they act different. What is it called when they act different with their white coworkers and they do with their black co uh, coworkers? It's called um I heard somebody use it before, but like I don't know what the term would be, but I know what you mean. My yeah, mom my mom They definitely switch it up pro. Bro. What? Cold switching. Cold, Cold switching. switching. Yeah, yeah. I've seen niggas do that. Like, I've seen a nigga be a nigga with me. Mm -hmm. But as soon as you get around on white folks, oh, how you doing? But that's what you have to do. And that's what's I mean, but why do you have to do that? To keep money in your pockets? To keep feeding your family? Like, mm -hmm. why? Is that is that why? Yes, bro. To feed your family. Hard being black in America. It man. is, though. But we have that about us. We can go into different different spaces and act differently, act accordingly. Yeah, I ha I've had niggas work with me that definitely act like niggas and don't change up for bro, shit. And I respect I that. I am a nigga, bro. <laughs> I'm a my nigga all day, not, man. My niggas, that, people at my job would not expect that. I might, I might be the niggas nigga you know. And, uh, <laughs> but... I've seen people, I've seen niggas just act like niggas, and, and even me, I'd be like, bro, you probably should calm that shit down, bro. Like, the ball seal, you wild. I'm like, nah, nigga, fuck that shit, nigga, nah. And then, nigga, then, then, nigga, I'm like, oh, God. I'm gonna just step over here, bro. I'm gonna step about five feet away from this nigga. Oh, well, yeah. You wild. It's, it's also tough because it's like, even when you go into these different spaces, you, you're representing an entire culture. It's a lot of white people who don't even, I ain't gonna say a lot, but there are white people out there who don't even. Get in contact with black people at all. You're that one person, one black person yep. that they ever see. Oh, I want to be the bad example. Granted, white people love me. Like I don't know why, but they do think you tell me their whole life stories. For example, that's some white shit though. Any white person, I'm telling you, they like to. Okay, I thought it was. Just I was saying, they share, they overshare, bro. Bro, my nigga, I don't feel special. It's a crane operator I work with. This nigga told me straight up yesterday. Like I was, I was, I was just joking with him. I'm like, man, the serene strips are like some LSD. He was like, ah, that's funny. It's funny he said it. I used to sell LSD back in the day. I'm like, what? Yeah, they love this shit. Like, yeah. We, <laughs> he's, he's, he told me the name. He was like, what, what do you call that shit? Mr. Happy or some shit? He's like, you looking for Mr. Happy? Hell yeah, I got it. <laughs> Fucking crazy. I was like. I you, I knew I mean I know you live in the hood, but are you still selling that shit? He, he wouldn't tell me, bro. I'm like, wow. But yeah, they they definitely warm up to you, but it's just it's just like you shouldn't have to change who you are for a paycheck. I totally agree with that, but it's just kind of like that's what we would do, you know. But then again, I think you tell all that when you get a family, you be like, man, I probably should deal with these crackers one more day, boy. Just one more day, I gotta deal with these, these crackers. crackers. Yeah, feed my family, whatever I have to do. But nah, nigga, sell drugs. Fuck that. But you know, still got to deal with crackers. And then, I mean, at the end of the day, you have that choice. And if you don't want to work for the white man, you, you do have an option. But Yes, you do always have an option. And you don't have to change up who you are. So. Right. I say fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's, it's always, like I said, it's always going to be hard. Even if you was to to uh, do things on your own and try to be your own person, start your own business, you always was going to have somebody always trying yeah. to step over Even you. black people will try to bring you down. Shit. Oh, niggas always ask for the discount. <laughs> don't give a nigga a discount. <laughs> you own a black owned business, don't give a nigga a discount yeah, to see, just, see how they black for you, bro. Oh, yeah. Like, why? Why you ask for the, you ask for them crackers for a discount? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I do. And they give it to me. Like, that's what, that's the part that threw me off, too. Like, I seen several statuses. I guess everybody started up uh, their own businesses that got an income tax. I don't know, <laughs> but that's what it said. Like, but on Facebook, y'all, I've seen a lot of statuses say, "Don't, don't uh, always go to support black businesses. Don't ask for a discount, bitch." JC Penny give out buy one get one free sales every motherfucking month, yeah, and they right. own by a cracker. Like, why wouldn't I ask for a discount? I'm saying they're trying to come up, dog. Okay. I'm just saying. That's why they don't want you to ask for a discount. You want more business? Give a semi-discount. You don't get a full fucking... You know what I'm saying? Just get oh, niggas in the So seat. you just want to feel better about it. You just want... Yeah. Why not? Who the hell want to pay full price for anything? <laughs> Name one person. I'll tell you that. Goddamn lie. Oh, yeah. I definitely still be finding Postmates code. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like, that's America. That, don't say that. America is based on discounts. <laughs> Nigga, we have a whole app called Groupon. That is based on giving out discounts. Like, what the fuck? 
You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get mad at me because I want to hook up my nigga. I'm still paying. It's not like I'm asking for it for free. I'm just saying, make it, you know, tone it down a little bit. You right, which I feel, that's also you trying to get over on them. I'm not trying to get but over on them. But I'm not It's only you. getting over on them if you, if you try to finesse them. Like, if you give a nigga a fake $20 bill or some shit, <laughs> some shit you pay for. <laughs> that's how I see it. I was about to say, how you going to tell I'm somebody s- how to react to you? So the only way I'm trying to get over is if I give them Yeah, I, I, I'll still support you at the same time. Like, nigga, I didn't have to come to your shop. I didn't have to drive this far to your shop to buy this shirt. I could have went to the crackers who was across the street from me. But I came to you, my nigga, mm-hmm. who 20 miles away from me. So give I me a discount. discount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, fuck that shit. I'm a nigga, bro. It's a shame, I'm not bro. changing it. How's that a shame? You still supporting them? You're just not supporting them fully. <sighs> Hate you. <laughs> you might have to. <laughs> you might have to keep hating me, bro. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say how I feel, bro. So, what do you think we could do to improve? Like, how do you think we could things could get better for? Honestly, bro, if we haven't done it by now, come on, that's no way to. Even no, if it. we haven't done it by now, bro, that's no way I don't know. I'm not saying it can't be done, but you gotta that understand. Just, when did Martin Luther King march for us? In the '60s. Yeah, in the '60s, and he okay. was he was taken, bro. He wasn't taken, bro. That nigga was out of there. He got rid of that nigga. Yeah, he was murdered. Horribly. But since then, like, you don't have the same type of... You have you have the same... I'm not going to say you have the same type, but the only time we riot is when somebody get killed. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't... We don't uh, go ahead. We don't... You don't never really see people come together till it's against the cops. Like, if somebody opened up a boutique, you might see somebody retweet it. You might see somebody post about it, but you don't never see everybody be like, you know what? I'm only fucking with that. Mm-hmm. You see a handful of people that might say that. You don't see the whole, as a whole, say that shit. So we need more unity. Yeah, my dad always said that. He was like, "Man, you don't, you just don't understand. Like, if we all came together, like, you don't understand how powerful we'll be against these crackers. You yeah, always got to throw crackers at us. That's a fact. And it's, it is a fact because I mean, just just speaking from this city alone, when it comes to support like local shit or anything that has to do with us, mm. crabs in the bucket, bro. I mean, every time I agree with you that. see it. That's why niggas go to Atlanta. Yeah, I'm not killing Mike. I don't really have the answers or I think that I do, but it's kind of like I don't know, man. We need to <laughs> we need to do something, but we need to embrace each other a lot more for sure. We really do, but it's 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 a it's a slow process for some real reason because you always got niggas that's out there for them because that's all they know. Is I'm out here for me, bro. Like. That's all I know, bro. That's all I got. Like, I don't, I don't really fuck with everybody else. I can't, I'm, I'm, I can't fault somebody for being like that at the same time. You should, because it's bringing us down. Yeah, it, bring, it goes back down to the crowds in the bucket theory, bro. Damn, man. I mean, we could try harder. We could, you know, we could, we could do more stuff for our community, but we got to get the naysayers to, we got to do something to get the naysayers to come through. Like hell, I don't think nigga support black businesses at all. I don't fuck with him. Bank black? Nah, nah, he don't bank black. That nigga with Vistar. <laughs> Crackers been running that shit for a hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all I got, bro. It's gonna be hard being black for a while. Yeah. That's why I'm gonna preach to my son, like, man, love your niggas, bro. Like, just love them. <laughs> support whatever the fuck it is they want to do. They want to sell dope, hey, man. They got that buy dope. No, don't buy it. Oh. Tell niggas they got the best dope in the city. Like <laughs> for real, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? Like they sell shoes. Tell them they got the best shoes in the city. Like just support your niggas. Don't don't be like some niggas. Like nah, don't go to him, bro. I agree. Yeah, ain't support that, your niggas. I ain't supporting R. Kelly. Fuck that. That nigga out of here. He yeah, does not my nigga. Nah, that's nobody's nigga right now. I don't think one person will say like that bailed him out who owned that daycare, but other than that, I don't think nobody fucked with him like that. You got anything else on it? Nah, man. Uh-huh. All right, so we're gonna wrap up this episode. You got pretty deep on me, bro. I felt like you about to cry a little bit. I honestly didn't know where we were going with it, so I was just kind of just trying to follow you. It's kind of like the blind. Lead. That's why I gave you liquor, but. <laughs> <laughs> If you have any thoughts, anything you want to send into the show, just mail us at uh, mail at rlpodcast.com. And uh, you want to leave listeners with something, man? Ban R. Kelly, man. <laughs> you about to get out of here. You better have women in their 30s to 50s. Get you out of paint, nigga.
Especially ones that go in that Tom Jonah cruise every year. They about to get you out of here. How we gotta be to go on that? I kinda wanna black. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. And that's it for the day. <laughs> that's it for the day, man.